Each are giving a piece of advice about how to finish round one strong. Hi, I'm Angela Guido, the founder of Career Protocol. And this is a very special MBA Monday. You may notice that I'm not in my usual MBA Monday set. That's because the whole Career Protocol team is focused on helping our clients cross the finish line. It's, it's go time for round one. For all of our amazing subscribers, uh, we wanted to leave you with some last pieces of advice about how to cross the finish line strong. This is ordinarily advice that we'd only share with our clients as we're trying to help them, uh, you know, with that superhero MBA application finish. But uh, we're going to share it with all of you as well, because we know at this time of the year, you just need a little boost sometimes to make it to the end of this incredibly long journey of taking that standardized test and getting ready for your applications, revising your resume, writing those essays, the short answers, the recommendation hurting, all of that. It's, it's really a lot of work. So first of all, congratulations for making it almost to the end of the round one journey. Um, I hope you've taken advantage of all of our resources to make your applications awesome. Uh, linked down in the description, be sure to check out the MBA resume protocol if you haven't already. It will totally change the way you think about resumes and for the better. Be sure to also follow our guidance for your recommenders. We've got videos that you can actually just share with them to help them do the best job they can do on your behalf in writing the recommendation. And then we've got a ton of resources on storytelling and just how to like really bring yourself forward in your MBA application stories. Hold nothing back, be your full self, be the hero that you are of your own story. Uh, so check out all the links in the description below. Now, without further ado, you're gonna hear from most of the Career Protocol team. Uh, what most people don't know is that we have weekly meetings where we talk about our clients and, and their essays and we workshop ideas and we give uh, feedback to each other so that we're really supporting all of our clients as a team. So on our meeting today, uh, we each are giving a piece of advice about how to finish round one strong. anything on the table give it everything you have um it, it it will be over soon and you will feel so good about the work that you put into it so just leave it all you hold a future in your hands. think about the one thing you want every school to know about you and no matter what the question and no matter what the school make sure that, that thing is represented in its authentic form in every application can you hear my cat eating in the background <laughs> are we good okay <laughs> Before you submit, take a look at everything that you've written with a set of fresh eyes. And I don't mean like send it to your parents and everyone you've ever met to like see if things are good, but take a look again at everything that you've done like you've never read it before. You're reading it for the first time and make adjustments from there. Super practical. Start working on your form applications now if you haven't done it yet. Don't wait until the last minute to do those guys because Bad surprises can happen and we want to be here to help you. So give us plenty of time to do that. You will thank yourself for that gift if you do it now. I think that at this point in the process, I feel like a large percentage of clients usually start the self-doubt really sets in. Am I doing this? Why should I be doing this? Am I good enough to even be applying? Should I click submit? Should I postpone this till round two? Should I retake the GMAT? Do I really deserve to be applying to HBS or Stanford or Wharton? Um, I think you need to be able to put those feelings in a box on the side for a little while. Of course, talk about them with your friends, with your instructor, but really be able to put those things on the side and really believe in yourself that you can do this and we are here to help you get over that finish line. If you're feeling particularly stressed right before the deadlines, give something very cuddly and cute a big hug or hug someone that you love very much and know that everything will be okay. 
Make sure that you love the stories you're submitting. No matter whose advice you've taken on board as you've gone, as you've gone on this journey, maybe your friends, alumni, possibly even other consultants, the best essay is the one that truly reflects who you are in all of your humanity and all of your glory. It's a story that genuinely touches your heart when you read it. So if your essays don't just quite do that for you, if when you read the essay, you don't feel like, yes, this is me. This is who I am. This is who I want to be known as. Then it's not final. Fortunately, there's still quite a few days left before the round one deadline. So if you're in that situation and your essay doesn't just light you up when you read it and make you feel so proud of the person that you are, then be sure to look at the resources down below so that you can truly tell an extraordinary epic story in your MBA application. That's it. All the best for completing your MBA applications. We're rooting for you and we know you can do it. We're taking next week off because it's a public holiday. But two weeks from now is interview week. Every day, the week of September 20th, we're going to be releasing a new video about MBA interviews. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. I, I've written a best-selling book on interviews and I'm sharing my very best tactics in those videos specifically for your MBA interviews. So we'll see you then. Good luck. Let's record it now. Let's just go around the horn and record it now. And if anyone is like, really like, no, don't put me on there, then uh, 